In this video, we're going to take a look at the sidechain capabilities of the Blue Cat MB7 mixer and a possible use. For example, it can be used to create a multiband compressor. I'm going to use a kick drum, a sidechain signal and a compressor in one of MB7's band 1 effect slots to reduce the low end gain of a stereo track every time the kick sounds. Let's take a look at how to do that. Begin by inserting the Blue Cat MB7 mixer on the target track. This is a track we wish to apply compression to. On the source track that we're using to trigger the compression, insert a send to the MB7 sidechain input. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to make the send prefader and mute the track. Open the MB7 mixer interface and insert BlueCat's Dynamics plugin into one of the Band 1's effect slots. Load a preset set up to produce gain reduction when the kick sounds. Now let's listen to the sidechain signal coming from the drum track. As I adjust the sidechain filter, you can hear more and more of the drum track. As I want just the kick to trigger the compressor, I'll reduce the high cut back down again. Turn off the sidechain listen facility and you can hear the compression being applied to the low end of the track. Listen as I AB the effect by bypassing the compressor. The mixer's sidechain capabilities and the fact that the sidechain signal is available to all inserted plugins capable of using it makes it possible to set up some complex routing and effects. Even more so if one of those plugins is Blue Cat's virtual patch bay, Patchwork. The possibilities are almost limitless. Here it is on use on a stereo drum track applying some complex processing including parallel compression. Patchwork is being used as three parallel chains. In the top chain, the side chain signal is being filtered using the Blue Cat Linear EQ and fed to the side chain input of the Dynamics plugin. Effectively, the bass from the stereo track is generating heavy compression on the drum track. In the second chain, the drum track itself is generating some light compression, and that signal is then being flanged using the Blue Cat flanger. The third chain is just a straight through dry signal for the drum track. All of this processing is being applied to the kick and snare by using the band 1 frequency cutoff control, leaving the hi-hat higher frequencies completely unaffected. Listen to the differences as I AB first the overall processing and then some of the individual processes that are part of the overall effect. Remember, all of this can be saved as a preset for instant recall at a later date. And that's just one of the many uses of Blue Cat's MB7's sidechain abilities.